up, everybody? It's your girl, Lily May. You already know what time it is. It's consulting time, and I'm here with Ro Tarantino, real over everything. That's what the Ro is, R-O-E. So, Mount Pleasant, Texas? Threes up, put your keys up. You hear me? Whoa, threes nah, up, real. put your keys up. Now, yeah. this is some real, real itch right here. Yeah, for real. But Ro, tell everybody a little bit about Ro as an individual before we talk about Ro as the artist. Ro as an individual? Um... I don't know, man. It's just like I'm an easygoing person. You know what I'm saying? Cool, kind, calm, collective. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I like to do music. I don't like people, though. So I stay I stay to myself. Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying? I don't like oh. people. People be, they don't, I done been betrayed so much. I just like, I just stay to myself. I'm alone. Okay. okay I'm alone. Okay. okay. But shout out to everybody that, that rocks see, with me. I don't get that because you're very personable. I mean, you rolled over here like, so, but I, but I, uh, now I understand. This industry will take an extroverted person and turn them into a selectively extroverted person. So there I you go. That. Hey, I like how you put now, that. I, I couldn't have said it better. Oh, you're so funny. Nah, for real, I'm serious. That was very, very, it was intriguing how you put it because I'm over it like, where's she going? Dang, she nailed it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But now you said you've been doing music for over 10 years. Yes, ma'am. In those 10 years, tell us a little bit about some of the obstacles that you faced with this music thing. Um, the number one obstacle I faced was uh, financial. You know, so I come from a poverty-stricken environment, a dysfunctional, broken home. So the main thing that a lot of us face to try to get heard and exposure that got talent is, is our money. You know what I'm saying? We have to get our money up or we have to do risky stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay. To, uh, to we have to take risk and chance. So that's the main thing that I faced was come, overcoming that financial burden to be able to go forward. So when we talk about that risk and we talk about that financial burden, do you ever find that some of the risks, though, come from within the industry? People, you know, I'm just wondering, in 10 years, have you had opportunities that have been presented to you, but then you realize they weren't what they were supposed to be? Absolutely. Tell yeah. us a little bit about how you dealt with that. Man. I ain't gonna lie, I deal with that. <laughs> okay. Hey, but no, anyway. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, like that. I like how you gave me that. You gave me, you gave me, you made me oscillate my own brain. So <laughs> I'm gonna give them a better way I deal with that. I learn from it, you know what I'm saying? Because a lesson, an L ain't a, 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 a L ain't an L. If you learn from it, it's a lesson. Okay. So what I did was I, um, I picked the pieces up. I started learning the music business, and I quit. I quit throwing so much money away so easy and just giving money away to people that talk good. Because everybody talk good. Hello, somebody. Everybody talk good in the industry. Oh. Shout out to all my real niggas that don't talk. They show results. You're hey! Like, nah, for real. <laughs> all right, let's get into the music. Now, I know you're unique. You have your own creative process. But how would you describe your sound? Like, I mean... Who influenced you? Like, who are some of the people that influenced you in the music industry? Oh, man. I listen to a lot of the greats, you know what I'm saying? Of course, shout out to Texas, everybody from Texas. Uh, Scarface, MJG, 8 Ball. Hey, 8 you know Ball, MJG. Ludacris. Hey. I like I like lyrics, man. I like uh, like Kevin Gates, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I Gates. like people that okay. got a message, but also they can give you some some turn up, but then they can tell you a story. Then we can yes. we might give you some love making music. You feel me? Oh, you gotta oh, just be Lord. diverse for me to like you. So I well, like a lot Lord, of diversity. You want to turn up and make some love? Well, Lord. for real, shout out shout out my nigga little Tunchy too. You can't forget the you can't forget the yes. the, 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 the entrepreneurs and the rap. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> now nah, for real. Well, look, let us know where we can find you on social media, but also a little bit about if you have any projects or anything forthcoming. Most definitely. My new single, Big Baby, out right now on all platforms, you feel me? New visual just dropped on my YouTube, on Say Cheese TV, Instagram. Um, Late Bloomer, new project called Late Bloomer, it's on the way. By the way, if you didn't know what Late Bloomer means, Late Bloomer means we start off a little slow, but eventually we overtake our peers. Oh, you know that sounds like the race to equity. I yeah. wanted to plug that y'all go to YouTube and watch it so you understand why we behind sometimes. But anyway, right. go ahead, man. Thanks. Ro Tarantino, you can follow me on all my social media. Ro Tarantino, R-O-E-T-A-R-A-N. Big Tino, tell Real me what it is, Big over Baby. Everything. Real over everything. You know what the fuck going on. <laughs> you heard it. All right, everybody, it's your girl, Lily May, and I have thoroughly enjoyed Ro Tarantino. Definitely look out for him because he's coming with some fire. Have a great day.